Police say a man who died after crashing an SUV loaded with gas cans outside an upstate New York concert venue appeared to have been aiming at a pedestrian crossing, but investigators have found no evidence that the crash that killed two rideshare passengers early on New Year's Day was terror-related. Rochester Police Chief David Smith told a news conference that the suspect in the crash was tentatively identified as Michael Avery of the Syracuse area. He died last night, police say he may have suffered from undiagnosed mental health problems, but officials say the suspect's motive remains unknown. On January 1st, about 12.52 a.m., Avery was operating the rented Ford Expedition eastbound on Westridge Road. At about this time, two Rochester police officers assigned to the concert were on traffic posts and stopping traffic to allow for pedestrians to cross. At this time, Avery sped up, crossed into the oncoming lane of traffic, and appears to have intentionally been driving towards the pedestrian crossing. At about the same time, a rideshare vehicle containing two passengers in the back seat was pulling out of the theater parking lot and was struck by Avery's expedition. <clears throat> this created the chain of events that followed, leading to the death of the two rear seat passengers of the rideshare vehicle and the injuries of at least nine pedestrians. Yesterday, a search warrant was executed on the hotel room rented by Michael Avery. There was no suicide note recovered during the search of the hotel room. An additional search warrant was executed on Avery's personal vehicle, which was recovered at the airport parking garage. Investigators are still combing through evidence recovered from his vehicle, but nothing thus far has been recovered that provides any additional insight into why this occurred. Although the motive behind the crime remains unknown, the conversations we've had with his family so far leads us to believe that Avery may have been suffering from possible undiagnosed mental health issues. At this time, we've not been able to identify that there was anyone else involved in the crime or that it was part of a larger plot. Additionally, we have not uncovered any information leading us to believe that the actions of Michael Avery on New Year's Eve were motivated by any form of political or social biases.